Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Explore Gadgets and these are 10 Android games for the month of March. So without any further delay, let's get this started. First up, we have Nova Legacy. The rather famous Nova franchise has yet another game and this time the game has been remastered for more modern devices with higher resolution 3D models and textures. It's also been retooled with a free-to-play system focusing on online multiplayer complete with $100 in-app purchases. But the game does control well and it is highly polished. Next we have Island Delta. This game is all about infiltrating the secret base of a Bond-style supervillain. Your top-down protagonist has the Gravity Gun, which you can use to get past obstacles, dispatch enemies, and solve a few puzzles as you progress to the base. It's a nice mix of Twitch gameplay and brain teasers packed up with an appealing cartoon aesthetic. Next, we have Real Mist. Mist is a classic point-and-click adventure series that was popular in the 90s with breathtaking pre-rendered 3D environments. The basics has remained the same. You explore the mystical island, solve the puzzles and reveal the backstory. But this one has new features like bookmark system and a hint guide to make things a little easier. Next we have Tank Raid. This is a 3D online multiplayer game where you play with tanks. Here you have to play with players worldwide and have to win the game with unique strategies and awesome weapons. You will also have to unlock new weapons and skills and upgrade your tank. And you can also play in 7 different arenas each with their strategical advantages. In a nutshell, this is a great tank and online multiplayer game. Next we have Soul Knight. Soul Knight is a bullet shooter with a fantasy theme. Here you have to pick a knight, rogue, wizard or a thief in a top down alien dungeon trying to kill everything that moves, since everything that moves also wants to kill you too. Here tons of weapons and upgraded are scattered through randomly generated levels making the experience more amusing. Next we have Retro City Rampage. The game has the general look and feel of one of the earlier Grand Theft Auto games that were played from a top-down perspective, but is loaded with in-jokes, pop culture references and extras. If you have never played Retro CD Rampage, this is a good place to start. Next we have Journey of Haha. Journey of Haha is obviously inspired by The Legend of Zelda. The descending stages in this game are all single rooms and each one is more focused on puzzles and mazes than core combat. And the retro inspirations make for some intriguing gameplay mechanisms. Overall, it's a great game. Next we have Save Dash. This is a one lane runner despite the isometric perspective and appealing graphics. The controls are simple, tap to jump and hold to keep on jumping. Basically you will have to collect stars and try your best not to hit obstacles and jump at the right time. The game is very addictive and I think it's perfect for playing when you are bored. Next we have Good Dogs. This is an infinite runner that plays the same as Crossy Road or Super Mario Run. Here you play in a park and its obstacles will change each month to keep the action fresh. The controls are simple enough, swipe left or right to turn the dog and when the charge is full release to jump. Beyond that it's simply a matter of dodging obstacles while collecting golden bones which can be traded in for prizes. Next we have Horde. Here you'll have to survive as long as you can, because a horde of square blocks are trying to kill you. You will have to control a glowing ball and try to scare the squares away from you. The game can get a little hard at times, but it is a great score chaser. 
Well, that was it for this video, guys. Do leave a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some awesome upcoming contents. And as always, thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.